The next section of Wasul Sunnah of Imam Ahmad Rahimullah is where Imam Ahmad Rahimullah he says, Was Samu wa Ta'atu li a immati lil a immati wa amir mu'minin al bar wa al fajr. The hear, hearing and obeying and obedience to the leaders of the Muslims, the leaders of the believers, whether they are righteous or unrighteous. Whether they are righteous or unrighteous. Imam Ahmad Rahimullah continues, and he says, and whoever has given the khilafah, and the people gather upon him, وَمَنْ وُلِيَ الْخِلَافَةِ وَاجْتَمَعَ النَّاسُ عَلَيْهِ وَرَضُوا بِهِ and are pleased with him. And that particular leader who takes his leadership yani by force with the sword, Hatta Sara Khalifa until he becomes a leader, Wasumiya Amir Mu'minin, and he is called and taken as the Amir Mu'minin, then hearing and obeying is to be for them in the good matters, in the righteous matters. And that hearing and obeying means that you don't go out against them with your tongue and sword. And your tongue and hands. Shaykh Zayd bin Hadi al-Madkhali, he says, هَذَا بَيَانُ الْمُعْتَقِدْ عَلَى السُنَّةِ وَالْجَمَعَةِ This is one of the beliefs, principles of Ahl al-Sunnah wal-Jama'ah. And their interaction, how should their interaction be with the leaders of the Muslims? Whether that leader amongst the Muslims is whether that lead, that Muslim leader is a righteous or unrighteous. No. Whether that re leader, he says, is a Khalifa from the Khulafa, or whether he is actually a leader from a country amongst the different countries. So it doesn't have to be only one leader that you give your obedience to. As Hizb al Ta'ala go around say, saying that you have to give the bay'ah to the leader of the Muslims, meaning only one khalifa for the ummah. The Prophet said, let me prophesy that there will be many leaders, Muslim leaders. Say, yakunu ba'di umara, he used the plural, hadith sahih Muslim. He used the plural, umara, which is the plural of amir. La yistannuna bi sunnati, they don't follow my sunnah, nor do they follow my guidance. They will have men with them, whose Hearts are the hearts of devils in the bodies of men. What shall we do, O Rasulullah? In that state, the Sahaba asked, the Messenger Sahasim replied, you hear and obey, uh, he said, you hear and obey, even if they strike your backs and take your wealth. And that hear and obeying means not going out against them with your tongue and hands. Because of the greater calamity that will be caused if you do that. The greater harm that will be caused if you do that. Sheikh Zayd, he says, One should be warned and be careful from differing over that particular leader, the obedience towards him and opposing him, opposing him openly. Because in Islam, if you, want to, if you see that the leader has made a mistake, the Muslim leader has opposed the Sunnah or has opposed an aspect from the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then there is the channel of nasiha, of giving advice. As in the hadith in Muslim Imam Ahmad, man arada in sahdi sultanin, fala yubdihi ala niyatan. Whoever wants to advise a leader of the Muslims, a sultan, then don't do it openly. So it shouldn't be in the newspapers with petitions. It shouldn't be on the radio or on the internet with petitions. This is not from the Sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu as is mentioned in this authentic hadith in Musnad Imam Ahmad. Rather, he said sallallahu alaihi he should the, the advice should be given secretly, because he said wa bihi should be between him and the person. Otherwise, what will happen? Sheikh Zaid says it will if you don't do it in the proper channel of advising him secretly. Then what will happen is it will make ihdath asbab al-fawda. If you do it openly, 
you will bring about those reasons for chaos. Alati bi sababiha tuhtakul a'rad. Due to it, the honors are taken away. And due to it, blood is shed. And due to it, wealth and property is destroyed. And much harm will occur from some people to others. And this is actually something which is known that we see on the earth, he says. And we hear as well from those revolutions that occur, what happens in the end? The people of that nation, they end up killing each other. And much bloodshed is caused. And all of that is because they didn't follow the path of Islam in how to rectify the Muslim leaders who oppose the Sharia in an, in an aspect or who, go, who, are, who err with regards to an aspect from the Sharia knowingly or unknown, unknowingly if they did it knowingly they're to be advised and unknowingly they're to be advised to make istighfar to seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the mistake that they have made but as to openly cause havoc and chaos in society such that Muslim kills his brother and his sister, women and children and the old are killed uh, uh, indiscriminately, unlawfully, then indeed the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi said, إِنَّ دِمَاءَكُمْ وَأَمْوَالَكُمْ وَأَعْرَاضَكُمْ حَرَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ كَحُرْمَةِ هَذِ الْيَوْمِ كَحُرْمَةِ هَذِ الْبَلَدِ That your blood, your property and your honor is sacred for you just like the sacredness of this day. And that was the day of Arafah. And just like the sacredness of this place, meaning the Haram. So Sheikh Zayd bin Hadi says, فَمَنْ أَكْرَمَهُمُ اللَّهُ عَلَىٰ وَجْهِ الْأَرْضِ بِوَالٍ مُسْلِمٍ لَيْسَ كَافِرًا So whoever Allah blesses upon the earth to have a Muslim leader, not a disbeliever, كَانَ فِيهِ مَا فِيهِ مِنَ الْقُصُورِ Yet that Muslim leader has deficiency, whatever that deficiency is. وَالْمَعَاصِينَ He has sins and disobedience. I will jaw, or he's a person who transgresses and he goes overboard. والتقصير أو التقصير في حق الرعاية الرعية sorry or he is deficient in fulfilling the rights of the people مهما كان شيء من ذلك so whatever transpires from him يعني from these men, the things that we have mentioned from wrongdoing then he says his leadership overall is a mercy for the people. In general, the fact that he is a leader, a Muslim leader over the people, is a, is a mercy for the people. Because there is security for the people at least. There is security. And due to him, the people are able to seek their provisions. There is. They're able to continue their jobs. They're able to look after their household. They're able to do... People don't look at that, the good that they're able to continue. The security that is prevalent and the person is able to continue, continue to, to benefit in his uh, uh, deen being secure with regards themselves and their possessions and their honors due to his leadership and they are not afraid about their wealth nor about their honor nor about their blood even if the the leader is a leader who is not righteous. The, the fact is, you will find that uh, uh, there is mercy. As Ibn Taymiyyah has said, 60 years with an Imam, with a leader that is unrighteous, is better than one night without a leader. 60 years, the people living under this leader who is not righteous, who does bad things, Oppressing them, maybe he harms them, and maybe he takes their rights. But Sheikh Santayim Rahmullah said, the greater security that is present in the country and that people in general are secure 60 years with an evil, unrighteous leader who is a Muslim but he falls into sins is better than one night without a leader. And we can see that now if you even just Look at some countries, you can see how chaos uh, uh, is because the people have gone out against a particular leader who is a Muslim. I'm not talking about non-Muslim leaders, 